Hello, Louise Penny and Armand Gamash fans. Kareen Smith here, getting ready for the release of the next episode in the series, The Gray Wolf, which will be coming our way on October 29th. Yay! You know, it has been two whole years since we last intersected with Armand and Jean-Guy and the rest of the Three Pines community with a world of curiosities. Won't it be great to get back with our friends again? As soon as my clock turns to 9 a.m. on October 29th, I am going to be walking into my local Barnes & Noble, picking up one of these fresh new books off the shelf and taking a big sniff of a new book. Oh, remember, librarians always inhale. Anyway, what am I doing now to prepare for this upcoming episode? Well, if you remember last time for this one, I made a video where I recommended that you read as many of the previous books as you had time for. At that time, it was about two months out from the release of A World of Curiosities, and I had decided I was going to read the previous five books. <laughs> what an ambitious schedule, eh? <laughs> I did it. I did it, and I had a good time doing it. I enjoyed it. Um, but, huh, alas, I only have a month this time. Uh, I had intended to do the two-month thing again, but technical difficulties, and I got distracted by some John Grisham books. Don't ask. Um, so now we only have a month before a, The Gray Wolf comes out. So what I am planning to do is take this month and read just the last two books before it. The Madness of Crowds, which is a post-pandemic book, if you recall, and A World of Curiosities. So that's number 17 and 18 in the series. The Gray Wolf will be number 19. Both of these have pretty complex plots. All of hers have complex plots that you really need to, you need to keep your focus, you need to be paying attention to. Both of these are both pushing 400 pages. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to read 17 and 18 to prepare for number 19. So I can seamlessly work my way into the gray wolf. Now, if I, you go back one more to number 16, all the devils are here. This is the one set in Paris, which is great. Um, it's talk about trying to figure out who the bad guy is, keeping your fingers crossed that maybe it's not the person you think it could be. It's the one set in Paris. I don't think I want to go back that far. Again, great book. Complex again. I think I'm going to stick with Three Pines and stick with these two. These two. So that's my plan. You may have your own pattern of rereading. Maybe you already embarked on it. <laughs> um, but again, it's been two years. You may have forgotten the nuances of the Three Pines atmosphere and community, and you may have forgotten how cozy and comfortable it can be to sit and eat and chat in Gabriel's Bistro, unless something untoward happens there. Anyway, in addition to what we can do to prepare for this occasion, Louise Penny and her assistants have been busy also preparing us for the release of The Gray Wolf. And so we got two websites to talk about. We got louisepenny.com. I was going to drag my laptop out here on the kitchen table, but there's no room with all the books. louisepenny.com. Lots of things to click on, including events. As usual, Louise has scheduled a pre-publication party at her hometown bookstore of Brome Lake Books in Knowlton, Quebec. Uh, and you can sign up for, at, at this recording, you can still sign up to be part of that. I'm not sure if it's a hybrid one or just in person. I forgot to look. And that's on Saturday, October 26th. One of these days, I am going to make it up there for one of these launch parties. I mean... From where I'm sitting, Knowlton is a straight shot, 226 miles. There are roads, and I have been on most of them, 
I do have a valid passport. And you know, must be beautiful in Vermont this time of year. All those leaves. I paraphrase from the movie White Christmas in case you didn't notice. Anyway, she's already got upcoming events planned. She's going to be in the Northeast mostly in October and November, but I'm sure there will be more dates added as you go along. While you are on that website, I also encourage you to sign up for her monthly newsletter. It will arrive in your email inbox promptly at dawn on the first day of the month. Usually starts off with the words rabbit, rabbit, rabbit. And you can keep up with what Louise is doing, including, you know, that she's writing other books. She continues to write. She continues to work. She continues to travel. And she got a new dog to keep Muggins companionable. <laughs> she, that didn't come out right. But she got a new dog to keep Muggins uh, busy. And you might want to check that out. So there's also a second website. If that wasn't enough for you and the newsletter wasn't enough, there's also a second website, GamashSeries.com. This is all about the books and all about Armand and not necessarily Louise. All right. And specifically for this book and the countdown to October 29th, they have done something special called the Wisdom of Armand Gamash. And to find this, you go to GamashSeries.com, you scroll down till you see the Wisdom of Armand Gamash. It's the first box. And then when you click on that, you get a box for each book, beginning with Still Life. Now what happens here is they have taken a quote from each book, a remarkable and salient quote, and have uh, discussed it, uh, either in writing or video or both. And there are places for you to comment as well. There are hundreds, if not thousands, of comments for each book. And they started doing this two months ago in the countdown. So one quote and book a week. So as I record this, I think they are up to A Better Man, okay, which is number 15. Uh, I think they're up to A Better Man. So if you've been paying attention all along, you could have gotten a quote a week about a book, or you can just go and get all of them, almost all of them right now. And then you're only a couple weeks out before we get the gray wolf, right? Okay. So, um... So that's a new feature, knowing that, again, it's been two years and uh, maybe people would like to catch up in a different way if they don't have time to read a couple of the previous books. Additionally, The Gray Wolf has been favorably reviewed already in a lot of library journals and other review outlets online, in paper. Publishers Weekly has a starred review of it in the August 19th and 26th issue. We get this at the bookstore that I work in and it's on page 53. It's a starred review. See that? It's a starred review. Uh, I didn't read it. I'm not reading any reviews. I don't even want to know any summary. I know it takes place in Three Pines. That's enough for me. In fact, when I go into Barnes & Noble and I pick up that book, I am not even going to read the summary on the flap. I am just going to take it and approach it with a fresh perspective. I don't want any anticipations or expectations um, cluing me in on what may or may not happen. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. So. Rereading, if you can, if you have time for, and if you want to, visiting the websites, especially the Wisdom of Armand Gamesh, and that's a quick and easy way to catch up with the previous 18 books. One a week, yes. And um, if you're watching this video after all of this particular hoopla is over, well, then you may actually have an advantage over all the rest of us because you can read the series at your own pace. I highly recommend that you read them in order, all right? Beginning with Still Life, which is down here at the bottom. Um, I give you reasons why in my tips video, which will be linked below. And um, 
Yeah. <laughs> you will get to you will get to read these at your own pace. However, once you catch up to the rest of us and catch up to the end of the series, you too will end up sitting on the edge of your seat eagerly awaiting the next episode. So that's a word of warning, but it's a fun warning. It's a great place to be. Waiting for the next Armand Gamash book. Yay! So, links to everything I mentioned are down below. The least louisepenny.com, gamashseries.com, my two previous Louise Penny videos. Don't forget, Grey Wolf, October 29th. Let the countdown begin. Many, many, many thanks to Louise Penny for introducing us to this fascinating community of um, enforcement officers and uh, the eastern townships of Quebec and uh, a, a town that nobody can find on a map and interesting people, fascinating people. Don't you want to see Ruth again? <laughs> anyway, thank you, Louise, for creating this world for us. We eagerly await the next episode. And thank you guys for watching and for being concerned that I had not recorded another Louise Penny video. Yes, well, sorry, recording problems. What can you do? Anyway, The Gray Wolf, October 29th. In the meantime, I've got two books to read. How about you? <laughs>